Obama denies Trump's sensational Nixon slash Watergate phone tap accusation, the ex-president did not order Donald's phones tapped at Trump Tower. But was federal surveillance authorized by a judge? The Obama administration has strongly denied President Donald Trump's claims that Barack Obama wiretapped his phones at Trump Tower before the election. Obama's spokesman Kevin Lewis released a statement Saturday afternoon refuting Trump's wiretapping claims. A cardinal rule of the Obama administration was that no White House official ever interfered with any independent investigation led by the Department of Justice, Lewis wrote. As part of that practice, neither President Obama nor any White House official ever ordered surveillance on any U.S. citizen. Any suggestion otherwise is simply false. However, the statement did not deny that another federal agency may have sought authorization to listen in on Trump Towers and received it. Lewis' statement comes shortly after Trump fired off a flurry of tweets early Saturday morning claiming that the former president had been spying on him in October, a month before his election victory. Terrible. Just found out that Obama had my wires tapped in Trump Tower just before the victory. Nothing found. This is McCarthyism. The president wrote on Twitter. McCarthyism, which the president used in his first tweet, is the practice of making accusations of subversion or treason without proper regard for evidence. Trump started tweeting shortly after 3.30 a.m. ET and posed the question, is it legal for a sitting president to be wiretapping a race for president prior to an election? In another tweet Trump said it was a new low for the former president compared it to Nixon slash Watergate and called Obama a bad, or sick, guy. Ben Rhodes, the former policy adviser for Obama, blasted Trump's accusations on Twitter, no president can order a wiretap. Those restrictions were put in place to protect citizens from people like you. Rhodes shot back at another Trump tweet saying, Dear pundits who lauded his speech. Is it still presidential to call your dignified predecessor bad, or sick, guy? Former Mexican President Vicente Fox also slammed Trump following his Twitter tirade. A so-called president is calling a real president and true leader, bad and sick guy. What a shame, America you need to do something now. Fox tweeted. Fox tweeted.